best combination around. Emily and Alexander, really quite a pair. Wherever there's adventure, you'll find these two cousins there. We like to visit relatives. Oh, and making friends is fun. Yep, excitement seems to find us. Participating. I hope Cousin Gaston remembers we're coming. I wonder how we'll know where to meet him. Emily! Alexander! Come on up! Let's go, Alexander! Landing, if I do say so myself. And a memorable flight, Gaston. Come, there is someone I want you to meet. This is Carol. And Carol, this is Emily and Alexander. Hello, nice to meet you. Carol is a great mechanic. She helped her father build this magnificent flying machine. Gaston, I'm having a little trouble with the engine. Being a mouse does come in handy. Well, let me see. Ah, yes! I see the problem. Right this way, Reginald. Carol, this is Reginald Wimpley. He'll be flying our plane for the big race. But I thought you were flying our plane, Dad. Yes, I know. But our chances are much better with an expert pilot. Gaston! Gaston! Finished! You certainly will be finished if you don't get out of there right this minute! <laughs> I am the world's greatest pilot. The race is as good as won. But first, a test flight. <gasps> My plane! It works perfectly. Good work, Carol. Their pilot's really good. Are you all right? Only I, the great Reginald, could land a plane with no wheels. Hey, these marks were made by a wrench. Someone loosened the wheels on purpose. Your plane was sabotaged. Who would do such a thing? I must say that's a darn shame. Allow me to introduce myself. The name is J.W. Howinger, millionaire, pilot, and the inventor of the greatest flying machine in the history of aviation. Yes, sir. Tomorrow, my plane is gonna win this race. As for that thing, 
Well, I'd be surprised if it gets off the ground. Oh, really? Yes, really. <laughs> we'll fix our plane. You'll see. Where are we going now, Gaston? Hold on! Gaston, watch out! I Gaston! must give the secret password. It is me, Gaston! What? Oh, oh. Great flying, Gaston! And here are the flying machines for the first London to Paris mouse and, uh, rat race. Rats? But they'll spoil everything. Remember, Alexander, the Rat Brothers were the inventors of one of the first flying machines. I suppose you're right. I can't believe it! Emily and Alexander, my two sworn enemies, here for the air race? Ugh, can't I go anywhere without running into them? With this disguise, though, they won't recognize me until it's too late. Oh, ouch! Who's that, Gaston? That's the dreaded Fentley Burbick, the meanest rat aviator to ever crawl into a cockpit. Hmm. I'm sure I've seen that rat somewhere before. What are you oh. staring at? Haven't you ever seen a magnificent rat and his flying machine before? Well, to be quite honest, I never have, but... You look awfully familiar. Have we met? Impossible. Uh, my name is Bentley Fur... I mean, Fentley Burbick, and I'm not from these parts. Neither am I, Mr. Furbick. I mean, Burbick. My cousin Alexander and I came here from America to watch our cousin Gaston... Did I ask where you were from? I don't think so. Come on, Emily. Don't waste your breath making conversation with this rude rat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna win this race no matter what it takes. And I'm gonna see to it that your cousin's plane never finishes. Why else do they call me? No tail, no good nick. Well, besides that... It's time for everyone to take a test flight. Emily, would you like to go on a little test run? I'd love to. Where's Alexander? <sighs> mm. Sunflower seeds. <laughs> Delicious roasted. Mm. Served with a bit of sparkling apple juice. We must start. Uh, we will come back for Alexander. Where did everybody go? <gasps> <laughs> oh, Gaston! Uh, care for another passenger? <sighs> Stop the plane! Stop the plane! On. You almost crashed. What happened? Someone cut the fuel line. Sabotage. Somebody tried to sabotage my plane, too. Our wheel supports were loosened. I didn't know aviation was such a cutthroat business. I'll help fix your plane, Gaston. We'll help, too. We don't mind getting our paws dirty once in a while. Speak for yourself. How is a devious rat supposed to get any sabotaging done around here with all this meddling? Why 
What an interesting contraption. Balloons filled with helium keep the plane afloat. It's clever, but not very fast. Helium-filled balloons, you say? Hmm. Uh-oh. Whenever Emily gets that look in her eye, it means trouble for someone. Whoever sabotaged Gaston's plane may try again, and I think we should be ready for it. me, chum. Reginald, my boy, I was thinking. It's high time y'all joined the winning team. This time I'll fix it so that plane goes down with those meddling mice in it. All oh, these fake tails are worthless. Rat has a fake tail. You're right. And I only know one tailless rat. No, no tail, tail, no good, Nick. The sneakiest rat in the world. And there's one mouse he hates more than any other mouse in the world. You! Me? Me? Let's go! So many flying machines and so little time. Well, I might as well start with this one. Hold it. What are you doing here? I uh, was about to fix my plane. That's your plane. My goodness, you're right. My eyesight must be going. I suppose it's time I got a monocle for the other eye. I'll go look into that right away. Not so fast, no tail. Jeez Louise, I've been found out. Ouch! How'd she recognize me through my brilliant disguise? Oh, what's this? Jeez, what luck. Hello, No-Tail, and goodbye, No-Tail. You no-good country mouse and city mouse, I'll get you for this. You haven't seen the last of No-Tail, no good Nick. Bon voyage, No-Tail. I love flying. Now I know exactly how the birds feel. What was that? Just loosen these bolts here. This ought to keep Lewis's flying contraption from going anywhere tomorrow. Oh, no. We have to warn Carol before someone tries to fly her plane. <laughs> we have to get out of here and warn Carol. But uh, we're stuck. There, there, kitty. Don't worry. This time tomorrow, we'll be in the winner's circle. Everything's ready for the race. Where's Reginald? Here comes your pilot now, Dad. Uh, Lewis, we have to talk. Change your plans, pal. Reginald's flying with me today. It was a business decision. Drat! That's it! We have to withdraw from the race. But, Dad, why don't you fly instead? Me? No. That's impossible. I'm no match for Reginald Wimpley's flying skills. Maybe you're not, but together we are. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Emily? Alexander! Emily, it is me. Where are you? We're inside the bucket. But what are you doing in there? It's a long story. Get us out, Gaston. Ah, very well. Do not move. I will be back. Something wrong, old sport? That's the biggest darn mosquito I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, the race is about to begin! Gaston, we saw J.W. Howinger sabotage 
crash Carol's plane. If we don't get to her in time, they'll crash. Carol and her father are in danger? Oh, no! We are too late! The race is starting!
Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Come with me. The finish line for the mouse race is over here. Unfortunately, we regret to announce there is no winner. Oh. Well, I did not finish the race, but at least we helped Carol win. Wait. There is a winner. Ha! Double ha! I said I'd win, and I did. Here is your first prize. Congratulations. The world famous Camembert cheese. Take that, Emily and Alexander. There he is, officer. His name is No Tell No Good Nick. International jewel thief, catnapper, and all-around dirty rat. He sabotaged the mouse planes. It's my cheese. I want it unfair and square. Oh, no, you don't. My cheese. I'll be back. Mark my words. Wasn't it nice of Mr. No Good Nick to contribute his nice round of camembert? <laughs> <laughs> Here's to another successful adventure. You know, Alexander, memories last a lifetime. Yes. But wouldn't it be nice if the same could be said for cheese? <laughs>